So we're here at the new Exploratorium at the Embarcadero in San Francisco and I'm here with Peter Rumsey who is an expert in net zero buildings. So we're going to talk, we're going to start by talking about what is a net zero building, Peter? Net zero building is a building that generates the same amount of power that the building actually uses. And we look at it not on a day-to-day -day level, but more on a year. In a year, does that building make enough energy to offset what it uses? I was fascinated to learn that it uses the water from the bay. It actually pulls yeah. in water from the bay to cool the building, which makes sense, but also to heat the building. Right. So how does that work? When we were designing the project, we said, what can we use that's, that's uh, take advantage of the microclimate to cool the building? And we immediately came to the conclusion there's huge body of cool water right below the building. And so we designed a system um, similar to what aquariums use where we pull the water in, we filter it, and with heat exchangers where we keep the water, the salt water isolated from the building water, we grab the cooling out of the bay water create cold water that we then pump through tubes that are embedded in the floor or in the slab of the building and we provide cooling that way. In the winter months we pull the bay water in and we put it through what's called a heat pump and a heat pump has the ability to pull heat out of the water. Even out of and cold bay area even, water? Yeah, even out of the cold water in the same way a refrigerator is able to pull the heat out of our refrigerator and dump it into our kitchen and we're doing that type of process, it's called the refrigeration process, to pull heat out of the bay water and then make warmer water that we can then pump through the tubes that are in the floor to heat the building in the winter. Uh, talking about energy use, you have to have an energy source. So you're using solar power. On the roof of this building, covering the whole roof, is a 1,000 kilowatt photovoltaic system that generates enough energy to offset all of the energy consumption in the building. And we use that system or the roof size to determine how much energy we could use inside of the building. That was our energy budget. And we designed the systems, the, that is the heating and cooling, the lighting systems, and even the exhibits to meet that budget. And, but here we had to get involved with the exhibit designers on the energy consumption of an exhibit and talk to them about ways to design exhibits that use less energy. Now the Exploratorium is all about exploring science, experiments, the whole thing. Some people are saying the whole thing is a big science experiment. Can you talk about the monitoring system yeah. for looking after the heating and cooling, etc. of the building and how it is really a science experiment? Yeah, but there, there, we, we first are controlling the systems in the building with what's called a direct digital control system. Basically a computer decides when to heat and when to cool, when the lights are going on and off. And we also have a series of monitors in the building where people are going to be able to see the energy use, that is the visitors. And they'll not only see the energy use, but the energy production of the photovoltaic system. And really for me, the thing that was the most exciting about this building is the fact that the kids are going to come here, they're going to see that, they're going to get that this building is producing its own energy, and they're going to say, wow, that's one of the things that we can do to solve this whole big climate change problem that my teachers have been telling me about and I'm getting so worried about. The Exploratorium is going to show them the way to simply and easily address that. We can design and build buildings that make their own energy and don't create a carbon problem. Alright, so zero carbon footprint, is that effectively what zero. it is? Yes, zero carbon footprint. And, and really, if you think about the energy saved in this building will be a very large amount, but my, in my estimation, it's going to be very small compared to the inspiration the kids are going to get from this building and as they grow up and become leaders in society, they'll be the ones saying, we should just do that zero energy thing. I saw it when I was a kid. It was no big deal. Great. Well, Peter Rumsey, thank you very thank much you. for joining us on Fresh Dialogues. And thank you for joining us at the Exploratorium in San Francisco.